Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Tonight's game is Invaders from Arctic Computing, released in 1982. No points for guessing what type of game this is. Yep, it's a Space Invader clone, but a very good one. The Earth is yet again under attack from invading aliens, and you have to defend the Earth. This game differs from most of the other clones, offering four styles of gameplay across nine difficulty levels. Game Type 1, which is now on screen, is the standard Space Invader game. The invaders move across the screen, dropping down a line when they reach the end. You shoot them and dodge their bombs, and try to hit the saucer if it appears. The usual strategies work here, for example removing the end columns to allow the invaders more time to move across, and giving you more time to shoot them. This game alone is great to play. A simple game executed really well by Arctic. As you can see the graphics are large, well drawn, well animated and colourful. And this was during a time when all other clones were offering character sized graphics that moved 8 pixels at a time. Sound 2 is good with a nice variety of effects. The only thing missing is the firing sound, but I think we can forgive that. Control is as simple as it gets. Cap Shift and Z for left and right, and Space for fire. There is no option to use a joystick though. As for the difficulty levels, set to 1, things are fairly easy, although the invaders do speed up towards the end, as you would expect. Moving up a few levels, and the only difference I could see, was the speed and number of the invader bombs but this certainly upped the difficulty. Now I did say that this game offered four game styles, but that's only half true. Style 1 is the standard invader game, which you've been watching. Style 2 causes the top level invaders to mutate when hit, requiring a second shot to take them out. This obviously means the game requires a higher accuracy to be successful, as you need more shots to wipe out the whole screen. Style 3 is a great addition in my opinion, and this lets the invaders drop bombs at varying angles. You'd be surprised at how much this changes the gameplay. Having to keep an eye out for those diagonal bombs is a constant pressure and adds a lot of extra playability. Style 4 is a mix of 2 and 3, so you get mutating aliens and diagonal bombs. Couple that with the higher difficulty levels and this game is very challenging. Remember, this is a 16k game released in 1982, and you can see what a great job Arctic did of cramming all these different variations along with a great game. The additional game styles certainly add variety, and it is really good to play. I think you can tell that I like this game. It was one of the first games that I bought, along with Gobbleman by the same company. That wasn't very good though, unlike this one, which kept me playing for hours. I'll be back with another 16k game soon. Thanks for watching.